Uh, the chemical is a permethrin product, um, a Control 3030, which is a 30% permethrin, 30% piperonal butoxide, or a synergist. Um, uh, permethrin as a as a adulticide. When I say adulticide, it means we're targeting adult mosquitoes, not larvae. Uh, is a very common and very target specific uh, chemistry for that purpose. It's used in about not everywhere in the world, certainly, because much of the world does not perform mosquito control the way we do in the United States. Inside the boundaries of the U.S., uh, just about every state, if not every state, uses this type of chemistry, if not this chemistry. Well, based, uh, based on the guidelines that are written and approved by EPA, we have to do two things. We have to do a flow calibration, which means we need to know how much product the vehicle is spraying um, at any given time. We also have to calibrate the droplet size. Now, what, what, what we're doing is creating an aerosol. Not a, not a thermal fog as what we thought of many years past where it's more of a smoke. But today we're using an aerosol and the microns have to be a mass median diameter less than 30 microns. So what we have is a, is a, um, a hot wire measuring device using a computer to give us that mass median diameter on the cloud as we're spraying. We're trying to keep that in a, in a, in a, uh, a pretty close range. The reason for that is the smaller the droplet, the longer it stays aloft. What we don't want with an aerosol is it for it to come out of the sprayer and hit the ground. Once it hits the ground, it's never gonna come in contact with that adult mosquito, and that droplet, that piece of chemistry is gone. So we want it to stay aloft as, lo as long as possible. The lighter the droplet, say 10 to 20 micron is the, is the target range we wanna try for. Um, um, if it gets beyond 30, the droplets get too heavy, too heavy, and then gravity takes effect. So it stays a lot long or skew at a shorter time, so it'll hit the ground. These applications are normally normally take place after dark, dusk, or after dark, and you can see the cloud as the truck goes by. It'll just sit, kind of drift from the ground up to about 20 feet, and it'll just sit there. It's mainly targeted for adult mosquito control and the chemistry is pretty specific to that. Um, the reason that we do spray at night is there are other beneficial insects that, that can have effect on this chemistry, but they're not nighttime active. So we want, we want those beneficial insects to be uh, inside where like, for instance, uh, honeybees or something like that would be in their nest. Pesticide is, uh, uh, is broken down in sunlight quite rapidly. In a matter of a couple of days, the, in the insecticide is gone. Um, again, it's effective as long as the, as the insecticide stays aloft in those small aerosol droplets. Once it hits the ground, because gravity eventually will take effect, when the insecticide does hit the ground, it's no longer effective against the adult mosquito, and it will be gone out of the environment in just a few days.